Uh, we have Simon. Let me know you're here, guys, if you are. So we've got seven people watching right now. Who else is going to join us today? Make sure you can hear me. Write me a comment, guys, if you're there. I can see there's eight of you at the moment. Just double checking that you can all hear me. The music isn't too loud. Beautiful, Simon's clicked OK. Whew, that's fine. Wait one more minute by my watch and then we shall get started. Beautiful. Righty ho, we shall begin in a second. Remember guys, I can't see you from my mat. The only problem I've got. So uh, we shall begin. I can hold this. 
So it doesn't matter if it's here. If you've got a really strong core, you could maybe go down a little bit further. But I want you to find somewhere where you can hold this position. And just try and hold it for a second for me. And just take some nice deep breaths. I'm going to make sure I can check the time as we're doing this. And then roll all the way back up and over. You know you can't trust my counting. If I say 10 seconds, it's probably 15. And again, roll all the way down. Find your seekers where you think you can hold this. And if you can't hold this, feel free to put hands on the floor, shoulders back if you need a variation. But if you can, hold that. Open the legs the width of that mat. Can we start to bring one knee in and then the other? So this is really going to challenge our core, so remember you can have hands down if you need. And we're going to breathe in as the leg goes down, exhale as the other leg comes up. And release, again, sit up straight, push yourself forward, release those tummy muscles for me. Again, sit up. Go back into your sneaker. We're going to do the exact same movement, but we're going to pull that knee in. Some of you that have taken class before will notice this is very similar to your single leg stretch. This is our variation of this. Keep pulling that leg in, challenging that core for me. And the last one, and again, roll up, go all the way forward. Reset. Let's go back down again. Let's revisit that single leg stretch. But this time, I want your hands in our genie position. As you lift the left leg up, I want you to twist. And then replace back to middle. Lift, twist to the right, back to middle. So we're really challenging our core here. Now if this is working for you, I'd like you to try and make it a little bit harder by putting your hands interlinked behind the back of your head. So as you lift a knee, you twist and back down. Lift, twist, back down. Remember to take your time. The slower we go, the harder those muscles have to work. Last one. And release, roll all the way forward. Restack. We're going to come and lie down on the floor now. And we're just going to rock the knees side to side. Just release any tension in the bottom of that back for me. And then we're going to find our neutral. So we should have a breath underneath the back. But to find that, we're going to do our pelvic tilts. So imagine that pelvis is a clock for me. Six o'clock is the belly button, 12 o'clock is the groin area. So you're going to push the back down to six, and then lift up to 12. Down and up. This should release the bottom of your back if you've been working today or sitting down a lot. And then come halfway in between those two extremes. You still have a hand underneath your back just to check that you've got that gap. From there, we're going to do our bridges. So take a big breath in. Exhale, push down to six o'clock. Slowly lift your bottom, middle back, upper back. So you come into this lovely, nice diagonal line. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, roll down on top. Middle, six o'clock, and bottom. And then we're going to carry on going. Remember, I don't mind how you breathe as long as you breathe. No holding your breath, please. Just making sure you're coming up and down that spine. If you want to make this a bit harder, feel free to have arms up to the ceiling. On this next 
next one, I would like you to hold all the way at the top. If you've got your arms lifted, you can put them back down. If you want a bit of a challenge, keep them up. We're going to try and lift our right leg into tabletop, and then we'll lower back down, and then lift the left. We're going to try and do our rib to rib, hip to hip check here. We're going to try and make sure that as we're lifting, we're not sinking back down. We want to keep lifted. And relax. Roll down out of that bridge for a second. Hug the knees in. Rock that back side to side. Place feet back on the floor. And again, we're going to lift all the way up into our bridge. This time, I'd like you to keep your arms down. From there, lift your right leg into tabletop and try and straighten that leg. If you need a bit of a bend, that's fine. Inhale, we drop down. Exhale, we come up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Really feeling it in that left glute now, back of the left leg. Hold that leg to the ceiling for beginners. 45 for intermediate advanced, and we're going to pulse. Really squeeze the bum cheeks together. And you're going to notice your hips all lift, and we're going to keep that pulse going. Put the right ankle on the left leg. Try and open the knee out a bit for me. And we're going to lower a bit, push up. Lower, push up. Make sure those hips are still in line, we're not dropped. Replace the right foot and lift that left one straight up. Inhale down, exhale up. Again, really feeling all that tension in the right hand side. We're going to hold that level to the ceiling for beginner. Forward for intermediate, advance, and again we're going to squeeze, pulsing up, making sure the hip hasn't dropped. Replace and put that left ankle on the right knee. Make sure the hip hasn't dropped again. We're going to go down and up, down and up. Really feeling the burn in that right arm cheek. And replace left foot down and roll out of that bridge. The rocking knees side to side. From there, twist onto your stomach for me. We're going to do some of our swim here. So we're going to have arms out in front and we're going to have legs behind. From here, we're going to lift opposite arm, opposite leg. So we inhale and lift, try and lift head and chest up, and then exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Really try to use your core muscles as well as your back muscles. And relax a second. Keeping that back a little bit of a wiggle. From there, put our hands on the mat. We're going to put our forehead on our hands. And as you inhale, I want you to lift the little look underneath that arm for me. And then exhale, come down. And twist. And come down. So just do it a few times for me. And release again. Keeping that back a little bit of a wiggle. From here, I'd like to put your hands in that W position, so your hands are just underneath your shoulders, elbows are hooking in for me. From here, I'm going to try and lift and lower both legs, and I've got a slight gap between my legs. Lift and lower. If you want, you can try and lift the chest and the hands up as well. Squeeze, elbows behind, lower down. Lift and lower. 
Lift and hold for me at the top. Just going to raise the hands down. Let's begin to kick the legs up and down for me. Nice deep breaths. Hold at the top. Can we do circles, individual circles with those legs? And then switch direction. Hold at the top again. Can we tap those legs together? Hold. Can we bend the knees? Bring the feet in. Take them out. Bend the knees, bring it in. Take them out. One more. Bend the knees, bring it in. Take them out and relax. Beautiful. Push up and over into your rest position. Now you've got two choices with your rest position here. You can either do your child's pose, which is toes together, knees apart. Or if you'd like to open the bottom half of that back, the bit that we've just been using, Keep your knees together for me. And as you come down, you'll feel a really lovely stretch down the bottom half of this back. And just take some nice deep breaths. From there, come on to hand the knees. Let's do a few cat cows. Make sure the knees are under hips, hands are under shoulders. Exhale, we round, pushing the back up to the ceiling. Inhale, belly down, head and bottom are going to lift. Exhale, we round. Inhale, belly down, head and bottom lift. And last one, exhale, round. Inhale, belly down, head and bottom lift. And then just come into your flat back and come into a rest position of your choice again. Your knees together or knees apart, your choice. Whichever is easiest for you. From here we're going to do some of our elephant stretches. So if you've never done Pilates before, make sure just to give me a watch first and then just try your best. If for any reason you don't like the elephant stretch or what we're about to do, then my advice is to either hold the plank, which you can do on your hands, as like this, or you can just put the knees down and hold a modified plank for me. I don't mind which one we choose, but that's if you don't want to do this next one. So if you have done an elephant stretch with me before, I always tell you it's like an elongated down dog. But we're going to add some fun elements in here with our legs as well, mainly because I can't hear you groan at me. So, I'm just going to pretend you're all enjoying it at home. Hands on the floor. Take your right leg back, then your left leg, come into your lovely plank position. From here, lift your hips up, roll over, so you are pushing your bottom up to the ceiling, lengthening your back. Now, if you need a bent knee, that's fine. If you can lengthen the legs down, toes is fine too. Hold this for a second, just walking maybe one foot up, then the other to get a lovely stretch. And then let's return to our plank by lifting up onto the ball of the foot. Keep looking at your legs as you roll over. Back into your plank. Let's come all the way back up, hips are lift. Bottom comes up, and we're back into our elephant position. Now from here, can we lift our right leg up? It doesn't have to be this high, but can we lift it? From there, let's try and come back to our plank. Let's go onto the ball of the left foot, roll all the way over, and bring that knee to your nose. And then let's push back, up, Lengthen that leg. And again, come back over, bring that knee to your nose. Last one. Let's go back. Lengthen that leg behind. Taking some nice deep breaths. And this time, as you bring that knee forward, I want you to aim it to your right hand and try and put the knee on the floor and extend your left leg back into our pigeon stretch. 
So your right foot should be near your left hip, right knee just outside of that right shoulder. I hope you're all smiling at the sneaky cushion that I've put in there. And let's just hold this stretch for a second. Take some nice deep breaths. And remember to modify for your fitness level. So if you don't like what we're doing here, but you can just do a normal elephant stretch, then just do that. If you just want to hold a plank and maybe if you can lower a leg, that's fine. Modify it for you. If you can, turn the toes underneath at the back of the left foot, push through your hands, and come back into your plank position. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to do the left hand side now. So push all the way up into your elephant. Let's lift the right leg up. Let's come onto the toes of the right foot, roll over, bring that knee to your nose. Up, take it back up. And again, over, bring knee to your nose. Last one, up. And on this one, remember we're going to come through, aim that left knee to the left hand, foot comes down, you're on your leg, and you're lengthening back with that right leg. So left foot is in line with the right hip, left knee is outside of that left shoulder, and just taking some nice deep breaths. If you can, turn the right toes underneath. And now I'd like you to push through those hands, come back into our plank. And let's see if we can go back and forth on those ankles, going into a bit of dorsiflexion on those ankles. We spoke about this a couple of weeks ago. And then replace the knees. Feet together, knees apart. And let's just push into our rest position. Beautiful. From there, come onto your left hand side. We're now going to do a bit of, of our leg series. So we're going to come onto my, my forearm, your forearm, you know what I mean. Come onto your forearm. Make sure the elbow is underneath the shoulder. Bottom leg is going to be near the front corner of that mat, and you can have a slight bend in that knee if you need. Right leg is extending down the mat, we're making a lovely line. We're not falling into the shoulder, we're not here to rest. Lift up, and let's start lifting and lowering that right leg. I can hear the groans from here. Beautiful. Hold the leg at the top, let's circle. And let's try and make that circle a bit bigger today. Still trying to keep hips stacked. Let's change direction. Hold down the middle, tap the mat, bring that leg up and over and tap in front of that left leg, up and over and back. So we're doing a lovely semi-circle. And this is one of those moves that looks lovely, but the in and out of thighs starts screaming at you after a few. Now replace that leg on top of your bottom leg and then bend both knees for me. And if you can, bring your knees further up as if you're sat on a chair and your feet are going to be in line, so it's a lovely 90 degree. And from here, we're going to lift and lower foot and knee together. Beautiful. We're really going to get into that hip rotation. Hold the leg at the top, just bring the toes together, lift the toes back up, and then bring the knee together. Toes, then knee. Toes, then knee. This is going to be one of those, again, that looks lovely, but you're really going to start to feel that burn in that hip. Last one. 
last one, hold that leg up, flex the right leg, take it down the mat, right arm's going to come up and over, we're really stretching through that side body, and what I want you to do is bend the knee back in, bring the arm to meet it, take it out, bring it in, take it out, bring it in, so we're really going into our side movement as well. Hold out for me, and can we do some pulses up with the arm and the leg? Remember not to fall into that left shoulder. And release. Very good, Pat. Let's go to the side for me. Now on the right arm, elbow under shoulder, right leg at the front, it can have a bit of a bend. Left leg nice and straight, and let's begin to lift and lower. And remember, you can have his left hand on the mat if you need. Lifting, really engaging the core. Hold the leg at the top. Let's make some circles as big as you can without rocking around like a people. And change direction. Let's tap that mat, go up and over to the front, up and over back again. So we're doing our lovely semicircle. Or you can call it a rainbow. I like rainbow because it makes it sound lovely. Even though deep down, it's not. Put that top leg on the bottom leg, bend the knees, try and bring them a little bit higher than usual. Nice 90 degrees if you were sat on a pretend chair. Let's lift and lower that top leg. Remember to keep lifted out of that shoulder. Hold at the top, bring the toes down, knee. Toe, knee. Really rotating, using all of those lovely rotating muscles. Last one, hold at the top. Extend that leg down the mat, left arm's coming over, we're reaching. As we bend the knee back in, we bring the elbow in as well. Out and in. Hold out on this next one, can we just do a few pulses up and down? And release fully, give that bottom a bit of a tap. Let's just come into our rest position again. Taking some nice deep breaths. From there, come back onto your hands and knees for me. We'll just do a few bird dog and a bean stretch. So left leg back, right arm forward. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, hook the knee and the arm in. Inhale, take them straight out again. Exhale, hug in. Today's all, all been about some sneaky core movements. Ones that you don't necessarily know are there. Hold that. Let's do some pulses up. Remember to keep that tummy muscles nice and engaged. Hold, can we hold? And replace down, let's change sides. Right leg back, left arm forward. Inhale up. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, hug in. Inhale out. Let's hold out on this one. Can we lift and lower just a little bit? Little inches. Hold at the top, try and balance. 
and then replace broadly. Again, coming to your rest position, whichever one you choose. Knees together or knees open. And take some nice deep breaths. From there, come onto your hands and knees again for me. And what we're going to do is go through our shoulder girdle. So, what you're going to try and do is open the shoulder blades, pushing the top of the back up. And then try and drop your sternum in your chest and squeeze your shoulder blades behind. So, this is one that I did in my workshop on how to really open up the shoulders. I know Simon's watching, so I hope he's been practicing this. And this is all about really using a muscle called your serratus anterior. It's a lovely fat muscle down here. And it's got a couple of jobs really. One is it's a slight intercostal muscle, so it's all to do with breathing. And it's other job is to really hold that shoulder blade in place when we're on our hands and knees and things like that. So what we're asking it to do here is release tension around that problem area, the shoulder blade where we hold tension. And relax a second, you can maybe give everything a bit of a wiggle. Let's just do a few cat cow. Exhale round. Inhale, belly down, head and bottom lift. Exhale round. Inhale, belly down, head and bottom lift. On this next one, we'll hold your angry cat. So exhale round. Holding the angry cat, push your bottom towards your feet and feel really quite nice and tense, stretch a little bit further down. And then come all the way back up. Beautiful. So if you're here, we're going to do our leg stretching. So come to the last quarter of your mat for me. The first thing we're going to do is another sneaky core move, but also stretching out the front of the hips slightly, as well as using the quad as well before we stretch it out completely. So what I'd like you to do is try and keep a nice straight back. We're not bending the bottom down. Arms in front. And be very careful with this one. Watch me first. I want you to try and pivot back slightly and then come back up. So this is really using the contraction of the quad muscle, but we're also lengthening as well. So it's doing loads of lovely things for the front of the legs. I'm not asking you to go too far back. I know that some people like to go all the way back here, but that's just a little bit too intense for what we want. We just want a little bit. Last one for me. And release, beautiful. Bring that right leg to the front of the mat. We're going to bend the knee and lengthen that left leg behind. Really going into that hip flexor. Try and keep your right knee over your ankle and not too far forward. If you're comfortable with this position, or you have any problems with your toes or anything like that, you can follow the next bit with your left knee down. If you like a little bit extra, turn the toes underneath at the back on the left foot, lift that knee up. Can we try and balance? Imagine you're squeezing something between you and your thighs. Let's try and lift the arms up. Let's just test the balance and sink a little bit lower. Put the left hand on the floor, keep the right one up to the ceiling for me. And as you inhale, take that right arm back a bit and exhale forward. Inhale, we come back. Exhale forward, last one. Inhale back. Exhale forward, replace the hands. Bend the left knee if you have it lifted. And then push the bottom back for me, lengthening that right leg. No problem if you need to be up further. Only come down when you feel comfortable. Great. 
From there, let's bend that knee. And we're going to take the left, uh, the right foot sorry, over to the left. We're going to do another pigeon. We'll sit there, walk the hands forward. And that right knee should come into a nice diagonal line. Lengthen the left leg back. As we've already done this stretch once already, we should feel a little bit looser in those hips. And if you can, come onto your forearms for me. And just take some nice deep breaths. Come back onto the hands, and we're going to try our best to put the right hand in the middle of the mat. Take your left hand and see if you can bend your left knee and grab the foot. If you can't, don't worry, it can be quite difficult. If you manage to grab the foot, try and keep looking forward as you give that foot a little bit of a pull in. And only go as far as you feel a nice stretch, you don't want any intense pain. And release. Let's come back onto our hands and knees. Let's bring the left leg forward now, bending into that hip flexor stretch, left knee over the left ankle. Again, stay in this position if you want, but if you'd like to go a little bit further, you can lift the right knee up. Imagine you're squeezing something between the thighs to really engage your muscles, trying to lift the arms up, have a balance. Sinking lower into that hip. And place the right hand on the floor, lift the left arm up. As we inhale, take the arm back, exhale back to middle. Inhale, we stretch back, exhale middle. Last one, inhale back. Exhale, middle, replace the hand, bend the right knee. Take the bottom back, lengthening that left leg. Really stretching that behind the leg now. And then bend that left knee, take it slowly over to the right. We're then going to walk the hands forward. So the knee is in a diagonal, and our pigeon are going to knee slightly out of the left shoulder. And just come back into our pigeon stretch. Again, second time round, we can try and put our forearms down. Really breathing in through the nose, nice and deep, out through the mouth. Coming back onto the hands, keeping the left hand at the front, we're going to try and grab that right foot. If you can, if not, don't worry. And then try and give it a bit of a pull in, trying to feel a nice stretch down the quad. Hip flexor. And release for me. What I'd like you to do now is try and fall onto your left bum cheek for me, and then bring your right leg back round to the front. From here, straighten both legs. If you can, take your right leg, bend it and put it over your left. I'm going to take the left arm, hook that right knee in, as we slowly twist to the right hand side to get a nice lumbar stretch. Just take some nice deep breaths. And slowly come back round to the front. Lengthen the right leg out. Left leg's going to bend and come over the right leg. Foot on floor. Take the right arm, hug in that left leg. Slowly rotate to the left. And then coming back to middle, we're going to look at our boomerang stretch now. This is actually a more advanced move when you add in the roll back and forward. All we're doing is the stretch portion at the end. So I'd like to take your right ankle and put it over your left leg. 
And what you're going to do is come forward. Like our spine stretch, trying to reach as far forward as you can. Just take some nice deep breaths, holding this position. And then reach that back up. If you can, interlink your fingers behind your back. If you can't do this, you can just have your arms straight out. What I'd like to do is try and lean forward again and lift the arms up, squeezing shoulder blades. Remember, if you can't interlink your fingers, just open them up for me. And release back up. Let's change legs. So left leg over right. First, what we do is we lean forward, opening up that hip. Nice deep breaths. Restack. Let's interlink the fingers if we can. And lean forward, squeezing shoulder blades, lifting the arms up. And restack and release for me. Just give those shoulders a bit of a roll. You can uncross the legs. And from there, just to finish, just a few more spine stretches. So we exhale, come forward. Inhale, restack. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, restack. And for this last one, try and cross your legs for me. Come all the way forward, placing the hands on the floor, and just hold into this position. A bit of a few five minutes to finish. We stack, cross the legs the other way, so the other leg comes in front, and again, come down, and just some nice deep breaths to open up the hips and the back. And restack for me. You are done. Thank you very much for coming to join me here on Facebook Live. I have no idea how many people were joining me. I'm going to come and scooch over. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great week.